Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. And I'm back with another recipe. You guys have been loving these carb quick recipes, so I'm here to give you what you want. So let's get into it. This biscuit recipe is super simple. You can have it done start to finish in about 30 minutes or so, and it's an awesome recipe to make with the kids. They'll love it. I'm running a little low on carb quick, so I decided to make a half a batch, but the ingredients that I put in the description box below should yield you about eight pretty large biscuits, two inches um, in circumference around with the cutter that I'm gonna use, but you could roll the dough out a little bit thicker. I made it about a half an inch thick. But if you wanna have the biscuit get a little bit more rise, you could roll the dough out maybe three quarters of an inch and even add in a teaspoon of baking powder. I also went ahead and added about a third of a teaspoon of sea salt into the dry mix. Once I gave the dry mix a brief stir, I then set aside the wet ingredients. So that will be one quarter cup heavy cream and also about an eighth of a cup of water. If you see that the mix is too dry, you can continue to add in the heavy cream one tablespoon at a time until you get the right consistency. I'll show you what I mean. You want your dough to be pliable, but still a little bit tacky. Not sticky sticky, but just a little bit tacky still by the time we're done. And you'll see once we start to roll the dough out, it resembles any kind of other all-purpose flour dough you would have, and it's pretty amazing. I ended up adding about three additional tablespoons of heavy whipping cream to get it to the consistency that I liked. I then went ahead and lined a baking pan with parchment paper and then just gave it a nice little base with some clarified butter with some ghee. But you can use regular butter, you can use an oil that you have, you can use nonstick spray, use whatever you have. I then laid a separate piece of parchment paper down because this is what we're going to use to roll out the dough. Again, I did about half an inch high dough, but if you want the biscuits to be a bit higher in terms of their rise you can make the dough a bit thicker and also possibly add baking powder so it's up to you you can experiment with that i then just gave my dough a little rolling out just to make sure it's even we're trying to get even biscuits even though it doesn't always turn out that way but that's okay we do our best In the final biscuit I didn't even use my cutting tool because it was not going to matter I just made it look as best as I could and that was just perfectly fine <music> And 
then went ahead and lined my biscuits on my parchment lined pan that was already greased with ghee and then we're gonna put it in the oven 350 degrees I'm careful with the temperature I, my, my oven runs high I did this for about 12 13 minutes not like the box says <music> Just another diva tip, I would always recommend cutting biscuits or any keto bread with a serrated knife. You're going to get a better result. Now you could stop right now and just have some delicious keto buttery biscuits with some tea or some coffee, but you know I have to be extra, so let's make a sandwich. I went ahead and used the same mold or cutter that I used to make the biscuits to set the egg inside to cook it. And it'll make sure if you do that, that it will all fit. It'll be the same size so that the egg is not like flowing over the biscuit. Just a little diva tip. Plus you can add a cube of ice to the pan or like shards of ice. It'll help the cheese melt down better. And there you have it, a perfect buttery flaky biscuit and a delicious breakfast sandwich to boot. I sincerely hope you and your family love these biscuits as much as we do. You can do so much with them. This morning I'll probably make a bacon and egg one or a sausage and egg one. You can have fun, do whatever you want with it. And of course, until the next time, all my divas and diva family, stay safe and be well.